Why does the national media hate the Arizona Cardinals so much, not giving us the recognition that we deserve? And are you worried about Kyler Murray's stats that we ended up putting against the Dallas Cowboys on this Monday night football game? Now, we're going to dive into both of those topics here shortly. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Welcome back. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, what I wanted to talk about today was two different topics. One of them being, are you worried about Kyler Murray's stats, as well as why the national media pretty much always discredits a win from the Arizona Cardinals whenever we're on national TV. Uh, before we get started, if you can do me one big favor, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the AZ Sports Fan on YouTube. Uh, we do a lot of different things on here. I'm super excited to have you on, and don't forget to drop a like on the video as well. For some reason, YouTube likes likes. Without further ado, let's go and just jump right into it here. Um, I know stat-wise, Kyler Murray did not have the best game out there as far as throwing the ball. I believe he was 9 out of 24 with 188 yards and two touchdowns. Now, I get it. Doesn't look very good, especially in that first quarter. He was looking like he was struggling a lot. Seemed like we're kind of seeing the same trends where he's like overthrowing players. On, um, and, and it's really a cause for concern. Now, we also got to keep in mind, Kyler Murray also had 74 rushing yards as well on top of the 188 uh, receiving yards. Now, this is what I like about this coaching staff so far. I like that the idea of being able to adapt on the fly is a thing with this coaching staff. Now, sometimes um, it didn't seem like that, especially with the Carolina game. That one kind of really seemed like they didn't know what they were doing. But this one, I thought that they did a good job and said, hey, Kyler Murray seems to be struggling, getting the chemistry down. He seems like he's still overthrowing, um, you know, receivers out there. So let's go ahead and, you know, switch this mentality to a run first type of, um, you know, quarterback run first type of thing. And honestly, I thought they did a really good job at doing that. They had several plays where Kyler Murray was designated to to run that specific play so I like that I, I thought it was a really good thing it's obviously the the Dallas Cowboys defense did not know how to stop Kyler Murray whenever he got loose out there and he ended up you know juking a lot of people out as well so he was doing really good um as far as rushing goes now I'm not gonna worry too much about you know the stats so far uh, just because we got the W. Uh, and I, I think that's the bottom line is I don't care how we get the W, even if it's an ugly, ugly win. Because, I mean, if you look at those stats, 9 out of 24 is not very good at all. It actually is a cause for concern. But because we got the win, I think it's something we can kind of give Kyla Murray like, hey, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll fix it this coming practice. We'll get better. Um, obviously, because, you know, the Jets game, he had a really, really good game throwing the ball. And this game, he had a really good game rushing the ball. Um, and I really thought that they kind of kept the Dallas Cowboys on their toes and really not knowing what the Arizona Cardinals were going to do, whether it was Kyler Murray running and be with the ball. Um, you know, Kenyon Drake ended up getting loose and probably having his best game um, throughout this entirety of this 2020 season. So I'm really excited about, you know, being a dual threat and really figuring out, hey, we can either beat you this way or we can beat you this way. So just depending on how the game flow is going, this is something that I really, really like, um, you know, a progression from our offense and saying, hey, obviously there's a struggle going on with Kyler Murray not being able to throw the ball. Obviously, let's go ahead and switch his game plan. Let's make him a more run first type of quarterback for this game and we'll fix the rest during practices. I love it. Honestly, I really do like it. Now, obviously, if we had a loss for this game, it probably would have been a different story at that point. But obviously, everything makes things a lot better when you're winning. So I'm not too worried about Kyler Murray struggling um, as far as in terms of stats throwing the ball very much. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give a, you know, kudos and a thumbs up to the coaching staff and saying, hey, Great job in, uh, you know, uh, adapting on the fly and kind of really making this a game, an exciting game for the Arizona Cardinal fans to really be excited about, you know, the Tuesday after and really happy about Victory Tuesday. Let's go ahead and switch over to topics here. I really wanted to talk about, you know, the, these national type of big networks uh, whenever they talk about the Monday night football game. Now, watching the game, it was very obvious, blatant obvious that those announcers were super biased. Now, I know there's a lot of small market teams that think that way. I, I just think that um, it, it's kind of unfortunately a part of the business where I don't know if they're told to talk more about the Dallas Cowboys because they're a big market team. I don't know whatever the situation is. I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of business going on up there with their, whatever lingo that they're talking about. But that is the main thing here. Whenever the Arizona Cardinals did something good, whether it was a sack, an interception, there was always somebody saying, well, if the Dallas Cowboys did this and that, you know, the Cardinals wouldn't 
this wouldn't happen. They kind of discredited anything that we did out there. Now, obviously, there was a you know questionable PI call on uh, Drake Kirkpatrick and CeeDee Lamb where he ended up falling. Uh, you could probably say, yes, that was a PI. I can probably agree with you on that. But unfortunately, that's not the way that the uh, the referees were, were looking. Uh, nevertheless, it it's kind of seems to be a trend you know, year after year after year. Now, I get why they do it. Arizona Cardinals, A, is a small market team, and B, we don't win very much. So, you know, whenever they look at us on paper, they're always going to say, hey, it's just the Arizona Cardinals. This seems to be an easy win. So whenever they do their win-loss type of thing, they're always going to have us as a underdog, always going to have us as a loser until the Arizona Cardinals really makes a name for themselves. Now, obviously, Kyler Murray is probably going to be that guy. He's going to be the guy that's going to elevate this team from here on out, maybe getting more of a spotlight, national type of attention uh, type of thing, just because he's a dual threat and a really exciting player to watch. But of course, everybody in, you know, the Bird Gang that's really happy about their, you know, Victory Tuesday, obviously we all want to, you know, turn on some uh, TV, watch some football news and see exactly what's going on. I probably watched about three different networks and kind of all heard the same mumbo jumbo. Uh, everybody was upset that the Cowboys lost, how the Cowboys lost, and um, there was murmurs and rumors out there stating the fact that players already do not believe in this coaching staff for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, that was really the, the biggest talking point in what was going on after the aftermath of the Monday Night Football game. Now, there was very few that were saying, hey, Cow uh, Cardinals did a really good job. Um, you know, they took advantage when they could. Every storyline that I saw was, what is, you know, Jerry Jones going to do? What is the Dallas Cowboys going to do? Is, you know, Andy Dalton the guy? Every single little thing was basically listed off for the Dallas Cowboys perspective. And it's really frustrating and like really like upsetting for me as far as a, a big time Arizona Cardinal fan to see stuff like that. Um, I guess we just got to kind of get used to it. Honestly, I know I'm pretty immune to it personally, but I wanted to make a video about this because it's it's kind of like the, the truth of the matter here is that we're not going to get love unless we actually start making wins or start making playoff appearances. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of the way that the business is. Now, I'm really obviously excited about what this uh, future is going to hold for this Arizona Cardinal team with Kyler Murray at the helm and Cliff Kingsbury being a head coach. Really excited to see exactly what's going to happen, but it's frustrating. It is. It's really frustrating for a fan to, to really... I don't know, just kind of get discredited for anything that we possibly could do. Our defense pretty much balled out. Now, I know, you know, Andy Dalton, I never disrespected him at all. I, I honestly do think that he's still going to be a really good backup quarterback for Dallas Cowboys and probably, you know, get him into the playoffs being that the NFC East is basically open even after Dallas Cowboys only has two wins um you know after the s week six at this point it's still completely open so I still do believe Andy Dalton could probably take him out to the playoffs um now can they go far in the playoffs probably not but I still think that he's definitely a good option to you know get him that momentum into the next year um but here's the truth of the matter here guys that the Arizona Cardinals is not going to get any respect unless we put respect on our own name now, it, 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 that's just the truth of the matter. Um, we'll get there. We'll definitely get to that point where we start winning. We have a great opportunity to do something here on this next weekend against the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I promise you, I promise you that whenever we start hearing this game preview being told uh, to all these national people, everybody's going to say Seattle's going to win. And, and rightfully so. Seattle's rolling through with probably the MVP of the football league right now with Russell Wilson. This guy is playing lights out. I'm not going to discredit him. He's a very, very great QB. It hurts for me to say that because obviously I'm a Cardinals fan and anything that good that happens to the Seahawks only hurts my soul deeply. But, you know, that's really... Um, I don't think that's enough to, for me to say that, you know, Russell Wilson is garbage because he, he isn't. That would be dumb for me to say. Russell Wilson is a really, really great quarterback um, and he's playing lights out right now. So um, I can see where the national people are always going to give the attention to the Seahawks. But this is going to be a really big game uh, coming here. A really big game for the Arizona Cardinals to come through. Um, even if we keep it close, I feel like this can be a game that people can start really looking at us a lot differently uh, from the national perspective from here on out. It really just depends. Even if we don't get the win, which I honestly can see us probably getting a win because I really see this team, um, the Seahawks team, very, very similar to the Cowboys team, being that a lot of points are scored, their defense isn't very good, but the biggest, biggest difference here is that they got Russell Wilson, 
and we just played Andy Dalton. So big difference there. Absolutely. Guys, but let me know what you guys think about, um, you know, not getting the love here. And I also want to know about the Kyler uh, Murray stats. If you're concerned at all about it, definitely put all that stuff, all that information in the comments below, guys. But that's all I got for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. Thank you.